Hey again everyone, I'm Kai Down, I'm the customer support and QA tester here at ML Sound Lab, and today is going to be a super quick tutorial on how to set up AMPT with a MIDI controller. Now's probably a good time to mention that not all of our AMPT plugins are compatible with MIDI controllers. While this is a feature we're looking to roll out into our older plugins, currently this only applies to AMPT plugins that have the MIDI tab on the main page. Before we get into the different MIDI messages and how to use them, you'll first need to engage your MIDI controller. Head over to the options menu, hit audio slash MIDI settings, and engage your MIDI controller under the active MIDI inputs. The fundamentals of MIDI is that there are two different types of MIDI messages, program changes, or PC, and control changes, or CC. Most MIDI controllers have some kind of desktop editor app that lets you assign different PC messages or CC messages to each of the different controls on the controller. For the Line 6 FBV Express Mark II that I'll be using for this demo, this is all done through the Line 6 FBV Control app. Control changes are all user configurable using the MIDI tab in the AMP plugins. If you've got a MIDI controller with knobs, you can set up the knobs on your device to control parameters on the AMP. This will give you a really nice tactile feel. Since I'm just using a foot controller for this, I think it would be beneficial for me to have on-off buttons for different effects, and then also be able to switch between different presets. The top left button on my FBV Express has been set to CC1, so we'll open up the MIDI tab in Amped Flagship, navigate down to OD On, and we'll set that to 1. Now you'll see that when I press the button on the FBV, it'll turn the drive pedal on and off. I'll also set up my delay and reverb in a similar manner using CC2 instead and then assigning that to the top right button on my FBV control. Program changes are all predetermined, predefined values that let you change between presets in the plugin. You won't need to assign these using the MIDI tab. PC0 to PC9 will be the first 10 presets of the first channel of the amp. PC10 to PC19 will be the first 10 presets of the second channel of the amp. PC20 to 29 will be the third channel, and it continues in increments of 10 from there. Let's say we want to switch between presets I've made. So we're going to go for this double J dirty amp, which is the fifth amp in the list. So we're going to be looking at PC40 to PC49. So PC40 will be the aggressive rock, PC41 will be juicy high gain, all the way down to Kai's Juicy, which will be 45. Following the same convention, if we were to use the Nude Clean channel, that would be the 8th amp in the list, making it PC70 to PC79, and then for my Kai's Clean preset, this is the 6th amp in the list, so it would be PC75. So we'll set up my MIDI controller to switch between PC45 and PC75, and we should see it switch between the Nude Clean amp and the Double J Dirty. <laughs> Since the MIDI tab applies globally across the app, the pedals that I've set up for the bypass of the delay and reverb, as well as the drive pedal, will apply to either of my presets that I've got set up. So that's all I've got for this demo, I hope you found this one useful, and if there's anything else you'd like to see us cover, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, I've been Kai.